Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Tweak Power Windows Tweaker and Cleanup app. So this is a free tool you could use. Uh, it works for Windows 11 and older versions. But one thing I will say is you'll notice some things that are obviously from older versions of Windows, but they say it works with Windows 11, but I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so when you first install it, it will create a restore point, but you also have an option up here to do that. Uh, check for updates. They have a file shredding tool up here if you want to permanently delete some files. They have a process explorer tool up here. Kind of like a task manager type tool. All right, so you have the dashboard here which shows your overall status. So I haven't done any cleanup on this particular computer using this app. Otherwise it would show the history right here. So it gives you information about it. No problems found. Uh, if you want to search for updates, you could do that. So then you have your cleaning section here. So here's like a, an example of an older version of Windows, you know, Internet Explorer. So obviously you're not going to be using this in Windows 11. So you have your simple cleanup and your default cleanup, and it kind of tells you what it's going to do there. Then you can manage your cookies if you want to view your cookies and delete or keep certain cookies. Then we have the Windows section here. So, you know, for example, you have some mouse options. So you'll notice once you click on a tab here, you'll get various options. And as you click on them, these options will change. And then you just make your ch settings change and click on apply there to have it shown. A lot of options here. You know, communication, administration, all kinds of stuff here for user login, uh, your drives, memory and cache, maintenance options here. Tons of stuff for system, for explorer, security settings. Firewall, Windows Update, Network Settings. A visual Styler, if you want to change your default icons here, you click on that and you could reset icon if you wanted to revert it back if you make a change. Otherwise, you could just go to Replace Symbol. Let's say for Documents. You could pick one of these icons, or if you have another icon file, you could use that. Now, like I said, just click on Reset Icon if you want to change it back. For this, though, I've noticed there is not an Apply button. So I haven't played with these personally, so I don't know if next time you restart the computer, they will take effect or not. So let's say for Documents, I'll say for Downloads. Let's change this to this. If I go to the Downloads here, See, it hasn't changed there, so I'm not quite sure how that works or if it's going to work, so you might have better luck than me. But I'll reset it for now. As you can see you have background images, icons, screensaver information, themes, icon spacing, that type of thing. Privacy settings, system settings. Okay, so let's move on to system itself, the system category. Uh, system Restore, if you want to check your startup programs, you could do that. Uninstall programs, view hardware information, system information, power options, you could change them from here as well. Performance index, if you want to view that. All right, let's move on to hard drive. Uh, disk Doctor, check your hard drive for errors, you could do a defrag. Look for duplicate files, check for bad links. Uh, file splitter, if you want to split large files into several files. They have this analyzer here you could run to see what's using up the space on your computer. File encryption, recover deleted files. So click on scan now. And they kind of give you a listing here. And then you could check the ones you want, restore them, but you probably have to wait till it's finished scanning here. Okay, there we go. So click on recover, so it shows you the color, if they're good or bad quality. You know, the, obviously the green have a better chance of recovering it than the orange. Okay, we've got some other tools here. Windows Registry Backup and Recovery, Defragment Your Registry, Update Programs, Optimize. So if you go to the Settings for each category here, you can see there are a lot of options you could check here. 
And then if you want to set the defaults, you just click on that there. So then you got your back arrow button here to go back. Visual effects. Optimize your internet connection. Pick your adapter if you have more than one. Change the setting. Smart tuning. Depending on if you're a gamer, if you want to have game mode going. Auto clean and live tuner. Automatic maintenance. If you want it to run for you. Not sure if I do that though. Uh, backup center. So you could use this to undo changes that you've made using the program. Then we have options here as well. So the options section has a bunch of categories as well. So you can see there is a lot to it. So obviously I can't go through the whole program. And personally, I haven't gone through every section of this program myself, but I've gone through a lot of it. So it seems to work fairly well. You know, just make sure it makes the restore point before you start changing settings here or, you know, create one manually again if you want or do it the old fashioned way. And if you're going to make a lot of changes, make sure you do it in case this thing can't restore it and something goes wrong. And then you can hopefully restore things back to the way they were. All right. So I will put a link in the description where you could download this. It's a free program and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.